video is a little bit of a break from my normal style of videos. I promise it's not a new trend or anything, just something I thought would be more interesting. As some people know, I'm a hobbyist photographer, considered an amateur. I don't do it professionally, but I enjoy doing it, and I enjoy talking with other people and trying new things. One recent discussion that I had with someone was trying smoke photography. We both saw this tutorial on YouTube and thought it'd be fun and should give it a try. She brought up the issue of, oh, well, I don't have all the stuff that I that they have in the video. I'm not sure if I, I can't do it because I don't have all that stuff. I don't have a flash. I don't have a remote. And that seems to be a very common trend with people who are hobbyist photographers to think that you need all of the really expensive equipment to do certain types of shoots. I'm someone that I like to think of as a sausage maker. I don't have very expensive equipment. I only have my camera. It came with the stock lens. It cost me about $600 when it came out. Other than that, everything I do, I find stuff that I already have at home throw it together, I try to utilize the methods that they did without really having the equipment to back it up. And I think that's a very important thing to be able to do. It's not the equipment that'll make you a good photographer. You either have the skill and are able to do it or you don't. I mean, granted, yeah, if you don't have the right equipment, your picture quality will probably not be that good. My picture quality is horrible. Good equipment and good cameras do make your picture quality better. but you can still take a good artistic photograph without having those things. You shouldn't let the lack of equipment bar you from trying new things and venturing out and experimenting and just letting your creative side flow. So I thought I'd just show this quick video of me doing the smoke photography shoot. This was my first attempt at it. I hadn't done it before. I decided a little bit late to do it and set it up, so that's why I'm halfway through the setup doing it, but it was something for me that I thought, you know, I have a couple people that look at my photos and think, oh man, you have such amazing equipment, I can't do photos like that. I have a cheap Canon Rebel that I bought two years ago, came with this stock lens, I don't have a different lens, I just have the single one. I just learned to make do with what I have. And it's important to remember that you don't need the high-end equipment just to express yourself creatively. That you can do and you should at least try with what you have and to not be limited by your possessions and not be limited by your funds. So hopefully if you are an aspiring photographer or a hobbyist photographer or an amateur photographer, you'll take this to heart that it's good to have those things. It really does help your picture quality, but it's not gonna make or break your ability to make a good photo. It'll make it more high definition, but it won't make it a good photo versus a bad photo. If you can't take a photo with poor quality stuff, then you shouldn't spend the money getting higher quality stuff. Thanks.